Hello everyone, welcome to my channel again. So today from this DP series of videos, I will explain one problem that is 712 minimum ASCII delete sum for two strings. So the problem statement is saying uh, given two strings S1 and S2 return the lowest ASCII sum of deleted characters to make the strings equal. So if we have a string called S1C and S2 is 8. So if you check here, if you delete S from the string and T from the string, then they will both become EA, right? Then they will become equal. So the output is 231. How it is forming? S has a ASCII value, right? Every character has some ASCII value. So S has some ASCII value and this T also has some ASCII value. So if you add them up, then 231 will come. So you have to check like, uh, what are the characters I will delete and their sum should be minimum to form them equal. So if I explain you again, then if you check here, if you delete S from here and T from here, then they are becoming equal. E and A, E and A. Sequentially equal. Okay. And the ASCII value for S plus T is 231. That's why this is the answer. Now the question is that we already did one program that is delete operations for two strings where we want to check like how many minimum uh, characters you have to delete to make the both the strings equal. So why this problem is different than this problem that I will explain in the next slide. So here I have taken two string delete and delete. Okay. We have to find like how many minimum ASCII characters we can delete then they will both become equal. And this is the ASCII table for our reference. So A has the ASCII value of 97, B has 98, and then gradually it is going up. And then Z has the ASCII value of 122. Now the question is that if we have to make this two string equal, there are so many choices for us. One thing is we can make both of them as Lee. So Lee here and Lee. Okay. That time we have to delete D, E, and T and t from here so if we have to make them li then we have to delete d e t and t and if you add their ascii character value then it will become 433 okay so now let's look for another choice okay so if we have to make them uh, equal then we can make them let also like l e and t let okay so if you have to make them let, then how many characters you have to delete? D we have to delete, E we have to delete, E I have to delete. And E we can delete from here. So if you check here, D plus 3E we have to delete from here. And total ASCII value is 403. Now another choice what we can make from here is, uh, we can make them EET to become equal. So EET, okay. Now to make them EET, uh, D we have to delete, L we have to delete, and E we have to delete, and L we have to delete. So here in this case, if you check for to make them EET, I have deleted D, L, E, and E, right? So now that time the value is coming as 417, okay? So uh, now if you check that our main goal was to make them equal, Either it will be L E E, L E T or E E T. That doesn't matter. We have to check like if we delete them, like how many total ASCII value will be there and that should be minimum. So here we can find this 403 is minimum among all these combinations, right? So in this case, 403 will be the answer. But in the previous program where we just have to tell the count of the like deleted character, that time for all the cases, the answer is 4, right? Because by deleting 4 characters from each of the strings, we can make them equal. Okay. So in this 3 case also, the character is 4, but the ASCII value is different total. So this will be the answer, 403. Now we will check how we will solve this. Now we will check how we can solve this problem using DP. So if the solution is similar to the previous solution. We have to just apply uh, or we have to just change one line here. Then both the problem will be same equation wise okay so this is my uh, two string this is my string one and this is string two okay so as you all know that we have to form a dp table to solve this problem dp table is just like so whatever character i have i will place them and we will take one extra uh, column or row and for lit also l e e t i have present here 
and in the bracket I have mentioned their ASCII key value also. So how to fill this DP table is we have to compare uh, step by step, right? So in this case, if both the string length is zero and zero, that time how many characters you have to delete? That is zero only. Okay. So now if uh, one string length is zero, another is D, that time total I have to delete. So it will be hundred, right? So if one string length is zero, another is D E, that time both of them we have to delete. So total it will be uh, two, zero and one. And here in this cell, 0 versus DEL, that time total DEL we have to delete. So 100 plus 101 plus 108. So whatever be the value. So now uh, here also total will be the value and here also total and total. Right. Total means uh, in this cell we are comparing between 0 versus DEL, -E -E. Right. So all these characters you have to delete to make it equal to 0. Right. So it will be sum of 100 plus 101 plus 108, 101, 116 and 101. So that will come into this cell. Similar way here also in this particular column, if we compare the other string as 0 and if my length is L, that time it will be 108. And uh, for this case, it will be 108 plus 101, right? So it will be 209. Okay. And it will keep on growing the cumulative sum, right? Like next time it will be 209 plus 101 and then the sum of this one plus 116. Okay. So this two row and column is pretty much understandable, right? So now I will tell you any random cell how you will fill up. So let's say this cell, particular cell, what formula I will apply to fill this cell. Okay. So now if you check here, I have to check what is the uh, value we are getting from the top cell here while calculating this particular cell. So in this particular cell, we are calculating the value for DEL versus L, right? And here what we are calculating? DE versus LE, right? So here we are calculating the value for DE versus LE. Now actually in this cell what I want that is DEL versus LE right now if I change the color uh, you can check so to get this string means this value from this one I have to add one e, right I have to add one E here and to get this one from here I have to add one L here right so this E is coming from here the opposite cell right and this L here is coming from here, right? So now my choice is clear that whatever calculated value for DEL versus L and there if I add one E, then what is the result is there? Versus if I have DE by LE and if we add one L there, then what will be the value? We have to compare between these two, okay? Then whatever will be the minimum that I will keep here. Right. And uh, when we will do that, when this L and E is different, means in this particular cell, the new characters which we will include, they are different. Right. So our choice is simple. So I will erase a bit and I will mention again. So the first thing is we have to take this value plus we have to add this one. Okay, ASCII value of this one. And in another case, we have to take this value and add this particular value. Then you have to take what is the minimum between these two value that I have to place here. Okay. Now, another situation will come where both of them is, both of them are equal. Okay. So, that situation also can arise, right? So, in this cell, if you check, how we get, get this value? Because here E and E both are same, right? So what is the above cell value? That is D by L. Here it was D by L E, right? And here in the upper cell it was D by L, right? So if you check now, if we add one E here and E here, then we are getting this one, 
right so here we have to add one e and here you have to add one e to get this particular value right but whatever is the d by l value if both the characters are same that means we don't have to delete them right because they are not a different character then if both the cell value is same then we can just carry forward the result from the diagonal cell we don't have to think like what is the top or left value because the character for both the thing is same so there is no effect right because we are not going to delete that because that will help us to make them equal right so together the formula will be if my character in both the side is equal then just copy the result from uh, the corner or the diagonal cell okay like this and if or else what we can do is we can calculate the x and y value like dp of i minus 1 like this one plus j means dp of i minus 1 j plus integer of s character 1 i minus 1 means this one and for this one what we can do is dp of i j minus 1 means this particular cell plus this value okay and then we have to compare between them what is the minimum that we will include in the my uh, current result okay so like that we gradually have to fill the table and in this corner cell okay so in the corner cell whatever value we will get that will be our result so time complexity wise it will be o m n uh, m n n will be the length of the string and uh, space complexity is o m n because it is taking o m n of space to form this uh, dp table now i will go to the programming so if you check the code here so i have taken both of their length plus one for the zero and zero and i have converted them into character array to faster access <coughs> and i have formed the dp array of n comma m then first uh, row i am filling up as i said so that will be the previous value plus the new characters ascii value so in java to uh, get the ascii value what you have to do is in in front of the character you just cast them as int okay then you will get the ascii value now for similar case for the column the first column also you can fill up fill it up their cumulative sum will keep on increasing right then the actual logic we can start from i equal to 1 and j equal to 1 okay uh, and the if both the character is same for a particular cell like for, from both the string the character is coming as same that time we can do just copy the value from the diagonal cell right or else what we can do is we can take the x and y value uh, so that will be the dp of my top cell and the character from my another string right and uh, dp of left cell and the character from my another string so that combination we have to check like who is uh, minimum okay so then we have to assign them in the i and jth uh, cell right and gradually we have to proceed and at the end in the like last cell in the corner cell so whatever value i am getting dp of n minus 1 comma m minus 1 that we have to return right so if we submit this now it is working yeah thanks for watching